Hi guys and thanks for watching again. Today I will be demonstrating how to connect this SR04 or to be complete HC-SR04 sensor which is a distance measurement sensor to the Raspberry Pi over here. But before I do that let me explain how this sensor works. It has uh, four pins, two for the voltage, the VCC and the ground, the top and the bottom one then a trigger and a echo pin. And to act activate the sensor it requires that the trigger pin is set high for exactly 10 microseconds. In other words, the trigger pin needs to be connected to the 5 volt power supply for exactly 10 microseconds. And when that has been done, the sensor starts sending out 8 pulses of 40 kilohertz and then starts waiting for the echo to bounce back. When the echo is received, the sensor sets the echo pin high for the exact same amount of time it took for the echo to bounce back into the sensor. This means we can calculate the distance, if we have some other variables of course. First and most importantly we need the speed of sound through air and under normal conditions that at sea level sound travels at about 343 meters per second. In other words, if the echo takes exactly 2 seconds to come back to the sensor, we know that the object is 343 meters away. And that is 2 seconds instead of 1, because the sound first needs to travel to the object, bounce back and travel back to the sensor. And that was an example of course, because this sensor cannot measure objects that far away. And I believe it can measure to a maximum for about 20 meters or something. Um, of course we can take all kinds of other variables in account, like the current air pressure, the temperature, humidity. But that would make it quite complex. For now 343 meters per second is accurate enough. And the echo pin of this sensor puts out a nasty 5 volts, which will damage the Raspberry Pi, because it can only handle inputs of 3.3 volts. And to reduce the voltage, I added a simple voltage divider, like this. And of course, I made a little drawing over here. This is the sensor, and this is the echo pin. I connected it to a 1 kilo ohm resistor then to the Raspberry Pi, through another 2 kilo ohm resistor, and then to the ground. And to calculate the resistor, this one, or this one, or both, um, you need a formula. But, to be honest, I was a little bit lazy and I googled for a voltage divider calculator, entered all my variables, 5 volt input, 3.3 volt output, and I started just with, to, to be easy uh, one kilo ohm resistor and then the uh, calculator told me that this one needed to be 1940 ohm resistor 41 ohm resistor but if you really want to do the calculation yourself this is the formula voltage out divided by the voltage in is r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so in this case 3.3 divided by 5 is the unknown R2 divided by 1 kilo ohm plus the unknown R2. It takes a little bit of shuffling around the, the variables to cal calculate it. It's not really super hard, but a voltage uh, divider calculator on the internet is just so much easier. This voltage divider also doubles as a protection for the sensor, because when we accidentally set the output pin of the Raspberry Pi, uh, the GGPIO pin, I must say, to as an output pin, the current will then flow through this resistor to the ground and net not through to the sensor. That's a nice protection. Now, I wrote two simple Python scripts to do the measurements and I've added those Python scripts to my GitHub repository, for which I will put a link in the description, of course. One Python script can be used on the command line, and it does a measurement every 500 milliseconds, and the other Python scripts works with this 
OLED display, which I demonstrated in one of my previous videos. So let me grab my mouse and keyboard and see if I can get it in action. Let's see, uh, the OLED version, there we go. So let's put this over here and it says 49 centimeters, 48, 49 ish. And that's probably because the sound travels to my phone, to my phone and then back. And that's about 49 centimeters. Let's double check that. Oh, now it's all getting all bouncy. 49 centimeters exact. So this measurement is quite accurate. I like this sensor. Yeah, I, I really like it. Thanks for watching.